Yo, I'm back again, and today we're doing a Coventry player ratings, bruv. Shout out, Persuade or so. Nickname, The Sky Blues. Owner status, happy to stay. Now, um, whenever I see this, I say that's always fine, as long as he's not taking the piss, bruv. You get me now? Um, no continental competition, because we are in the, in, the, in the championship, you get me? But yeah, history, bruv. Um, they were in the Prem at one point, believe it or not. I, I couldn't believe that, bruv. And, and they've been in the championship ever since. Then they got down to League One. Up, down, up, down, and they're back in the championship, bruv. After last season finishing first in the League One, though, which is fine. But yeah, let's let's just view the squad, bruv, you get me? All right, we're going from Ben Wilson all the way to Maxime Biamu. So yeah, let's see what they're saying. All right, starting off in goal, we've got Ben Wilson, bruv. Now, this guy is 27 years of age, 14 agility, which is really good, but 12 reflexes and 10 one-on-ones, bruv. Now... As I always say, the three things that I look for are the agility, the one-on-one -one and the reflexes. Man's got one of the three that I need, meaning that he is shambolic, bruv. I can't lie. Look at the mentals, bruv. Shocking. Man's just going to get packed, bruv. And if you want to play him, yeah? If you, you want to play him, that's up to you, innit? But personally, man can only advise, and that's what it's all about. Man can only advise, and I highly advise you, don't play him, bruv. That contract, rip it up, <laughs> Rip up the contract, bruv. Don't waste your time, man, like Ben Wilson. Don't waste the time like, like I just did, bruv, safe. All right, next you've got Marco Marossi, bruv. Now, he is 26, 12 reflexes, 9 one-on-ones, and 13 agility. See, now, goalkeeping um, crisis, bruv. That's that's the best way I can put it still. Um, you're going to have to buy a goalkeeper, tell him, listen, you're the saviour, bruv. And this guy will probably... I can't even put him back up, bruv. One-on-ones are just too shambolic. I mean, he's better than the last one, but still, man, have to buy a new goalkeeper still. So, yeah, already... Man, man's man's one nil down, bruv. Like man's already losing, fam. Can't lie. Man, man like Marco Marossi, cool. Uh, next you've got a twenty-four year old Julian Da Costa, bruv. Now, uh, man is gone for three to four months, torn ankle ligaments. That's a recurring injury because it's ligaments. Not not a good sign, bruv. Can't lie. This young getting injuries like that, peak, bruv. Can't lie. Now, fourteen pace. Um, so he's he's got a good pace, but it's gonna take him a while to get to that pace. Yeah, good balance. Agility is under average by two so the acceleration. You get me. Now, mental. Abominate mental disaster, bruv. Um, if he was fit, I would have never played him anyway due to the mentals, bruv. He's meant to be a wing back, attack 12 dribbling, 12 crossing. You can understand that. Pivot 11, technique 12, vision 11, passing is it's very, very, I mean, bad. I mean, it's it's just okay, blank okay, bruv. Like, you can just about do it anyway. So, yeah, first touch chasing that. So, yeah, if he was fit, I wouldn't play him due to him being injured. You can't play him anyway, bruv. If I had to do it. I mean, if, if I had the choice of selling him, I would, I would definitely sell him still. Man, man like Da Costa, bruv, cool. Uh, next, you've got Tayo McFadzayan, bruv. You get me? Now, man is 33. You get me? Um, No nonsense centre back on stopper, bruv. 12 technique, 10 vision, and 11 passing. Um, The pivot for no nonsense is actually okay, but he's got very good tackling, though. Um, So, yeah, he's he's definitely uh, no nonsense because I look at the determination, look at the, the aggression, yeah. 16 and 17 then I look at the tackling he can do that as well and he's strong as fuck so yeah he's just there to win the ball not I mean I can't even call him not a footballer because he's not the end of the world in terms of passing if I'm being honest in it one thing I do know is that in terms of like someone kicking the ball past him and running this it's, it's curtains bruv I can't lie man man's gonna sp spin him still like, like they will win it man like Kyle McFadden is gonna get absolutely spun bruv like, and it's gonna take him a while to spin as well so so good good luck with that. But overall, man, it's just a no nuts at centre back in it. Um, in terms of contracts, man, I'll probably just just you know what, let him let him run down that contracts up until twenty twenty one. Let him go for free, man. There's there's nothing really there for for longevity anyway. Man, like McFadzi and cool. Uh, next, we've got a twenty four year old Dominic Hayam, bruv. You get me? Um, twenty four, ten pace, ten agility, and ten acceleration. But he has got good positioning, meaning that I can actually allow him. I can still now eleven technique, nine vision, eleven passing. Explains why he plays short, simple passes because he literally cannot see to play long ones, bruv. You know the one. Anyway, um, composure eleven. Um, mentally, it's 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 under average, but it's okay. It's it's okay. I'll be real. He's twenty four. It's not that bad, and he needs to be able to win the ball a bit better. Overall, he's he's not that bad of a defender. Just beware, like most of them do. Yeah, man's just got no pace, bruv. So, but the position might help him out a little bit though, if I'm being honest. But yeah, man, like Dominic Hayam, bruv. He's he's okay. Still. Alright, next you've got Josh Pask, bruv. Um, he is a natural centre back. Met him on right back, bruv. Um, now he's twenty two. Big man can't even tackle a ball, bruv. Like man's a big man. I mean, he claims ball playing defender. Eleven technique, ten vision, eleven passing. So that one's already pretty much out. Of the way. I mean, he's got an okay first touch dribbling for centre back. Is calm, 
composure has actually come, but the pivot needs to improve and be real. Man can man can improve that pivot still. Um, if you if you was to give it like some double intensity, you can improve that still. But um, once like like like, like a lot of them do, yeah, four in acceleration, nine agility, but fifteen pace. So side to side, it's 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 curtains, bruv. Like man's really gonna get spun, bruv. Especially with that balance, my lord, he's falling on the ground, bruv. I can't lie, it's peak still. But yeah, um, mentally, overall, mentally, it's awful. I mean, he is 22, but there's some that are like sixes and eights, bruv. Like, it's not, nothing you can do still. 11 positioning, is, is that is that good enough? No, it's not, bruv. Let me be real. Overall, he's he's not the greatest, man. I can't lie. I'll probably sell this guy. In fact, I will sell this guy, bruv. Man, like Josh Pask, bruv. All right, next you've got Leo Ostigard, bruv. Now, man is 20 and he's on loan from Brighton. Yeah, now he's a no-nonsense centre-back. And I can't lie, he's actually kind of decent still, like... Agility and balance there, they're not really there, but um let's let's be real. His his main job is to win the ball, yeah. And and he can do that. Still he's only twenty. Seventeen work rate, sixteen determination, seventeen bravery and seventeen aggression. He does not care who you are. Like he he just doesn't care. He just wants to get that ball, bruv. Like the determination, he's willing to do it. He he's he's just mad angry, bruv. Man's just pissed off for no reason, bruv, all the time, bruv. And, and 15 tackling so he actually can like precisely win the ball so so for what he does he's actually pretty decent still regardless of he being like my cup of tea or not for what he does he's he's genuinely decent still so i'll give him the respect he deserves and say if you can make the loan be permanent definitely do so i doubt you will be able to but if you can you can try your luck bruv roll the flipping dice safe all right next we've got michael rose bruv now he is a ball playing defender just signed a new deal Oh, he's here till 2023. Now, physically, um, in terms of movement, it's peak. Um, in terms of strength, it's, it's calm. Can't lie, 14 strength is calm still. He's got composure. He's a ball-playing defender. Nine technical, believe me, that's going to be a task for him to make that pass, even though he's got very good execution for a centre-back here. It's going to be a task in terms of the technicals, bruv. But I see he brings ball out of defence. On on what flipping planet? Because man's got six dribbling. I dare you try, bruv. Like, I, I don't want to see that. I can't lie, bruv. Man, man's just going to get absolutely pressure the bruv regardless of his composure man can't dribble don't let him you get me um play it play it safe man i can't lie with, with this guy anyway if you were going to play him you would probably have to play a deeper line due to him have not the, having not to the best positioning and, and also not having the best um pace as well bro but overall he's he's okay for a little championship thing can't lie um he's, he's okay for that and let me just leave it at that bruv all right next we've got fankati dabo you get me so um man's a wing back attack right back or right wing back bruv in positions yeah 11 technical ability, 7 vision and 12 passing. So not not the greatest there. Um, very fast though in a straight line, especially agility is kind of under average. But in a straight line, man's, man's definitely booming still, can't lie. Now um, I see mentally it's just it's just peak, bruv. Can't lie, man. It's, it's, it's peak, can't lie, bruv. In, in the mentals, bruv. Like, man, man really going to have to like tell him, listen, I don't know if I can trust you still. <laughs> like, literally, that, that's what I would genuinely do still. But yeah, 11 dribbling. That's that's why he knocks the ball past the opponent because he has to in it. Like the ball's just not sticking. As much as he tries to dribble, it's just not working, bruv. Now, thirteen crossing is actually calm. Overall, I would probably keep him for depth. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Like I I I know yeah in the championship, if you were to play a five at the back, you have got a little wing back here that's got an okay cross. Mal just tell him run to the byline, cross that, and and that's it, bruv. Yeah, man, man like Fankati Dabo, good squad player. Don't put him break. Don't listen to that absolute bullshit, man. Just man has to actually buy a right back and put this guy on the bench. That's what I'm telling you, man. Yeah, man like Fankati Dabo. Say. Uh, next, we've got Sam McCallum, bruv. He is on loan from Norwich. He's 19. Um, pace in a straight line is calm. 13 pace is all right under average by one. He's a wing back defend, nine technique, ten vision, ten passing. Not really looking for him to be anything on the ball. It's the off the ball. Like I'm not talking off the ball, literally. I'm talking like tackling, and that's 13, so it's okay, can't lie. Um yeah, all he needs to do is be able to win the ball and and kind of cross it. Like, if he's a wing back, he needs to kind of cross. And he kind of can. So he's alone from someone else, um, not really providing that much value for you. Meaning that if you can't sign him permanently, you might as well just terminate the deal. Sim- simple as bro, man. That's some McCallum cool. Uh, next we've got Ben Sheaf. You know, um, on loan from Arsenal. Um, this is the perfect example of one man's trash is another man's fucking Trevor. I mean, man said Trevor treasure, tre- treasure. Yeah, listen, this is one of their best players. Let's be real. Regardless of him of him being on loan from Arsenal or not, yeah, he is in it. Like man can literally do anything apart from shoot, bro. Like come on, man. Man's their best player still. So. Might man have to nurture him correctly if Arsenal do let you. I, I think they probably might. I mean, 
um, if, if Arteta is in charge, they, they might let him stay here still. Can't lie. But then again, it is Coventry. Actually, no, nah, he's, he's never staying here permanently. Let's be real. But um, overall, though, let me just look at the stats. 13 technique, 12 vision, 13 passing. That's a good pivot. He's a deep playing playmaker. Um, for those, you know, he's 22. All right, cool. First touch is calm. Um, anticipation is all right. Composure is all right as well. And he's not meant to be moving at speed anyway. So overall, he's actually not that bad. Obviously, you need to absolutely rip that trait apart about shoots from distance. What, 10? I mean... Yeah, 10 long shots, forget about it still. But yeah, overall, my man, like Ben Sheaf, he's, he's their best player still so far. I don't think I'll see a better one, bruv. Like, let, let's genuinely see if we can find a better player than Ben Sheaf, bruv. Cool. All right, next you've got Liam Kelly, bruv. Now, a uh, man is a Kalelelelelo role, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, man's one of those roles that I always say man choose when they have to cover up their insecurities as a technical footballer, bruv. And as you can see, man's got 11 techniques, so I'm just not lying, am I? Now, um... Vision and passing aren't that bad, but obviously the technique is probably why he chose that role, let's be real. First touch, chasing that, I mean, attempting to chase that with his dead pace, bruv, let's be real. Man, man like Liam Kelly, mentally as they always are when they're older, man will have better mental still. But even then, man's composure is just out of the window, bruv. First touch, bouncing out of the stadium quite comfortably as well, bruv. Like, it's, it's peak, I, I can't lie, bruv. Um, if there's any role that I would choose him to be, it's probably going to be a centre-back. And I know he hasn't got any experience there. He's ineffectual there for now. He's 30. Um, he's six foot two. I forget about it. He's got 11 strength. <laughs> forget about it. Forget everything I just said, yeah. Man will get shifted. You see that button right there? Man, 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 man's going to get shifted. I can't press that too many times. It'll start making mad noises, yeah. But man, man's going to get shifted still. Yeah, man, man like Liam Kelly. Just just call it a day and terminate the deal. <laughs> like, just, just, just rip up the... Oh, wait, no. He's even in 2021. Just, just wait it out. You know the ones that just, just wait it out, bruv. Like it's not worth your time. Still. Alright, next we've got Matty James, bruv. Man is another one of these dusty central midfielder roles. I don't know who uses those unless you're in Vanarama, bruv. Listen, um, twelve technical ability, twelve vision, but fourteen passing. He's got very good execution, determination, work rate, aggression under average by one. Very good mentally, as they always are above the age of like twenty-seven. Always good mentally, physically not the case. But if he's a no, oh, no, he's a central midfielder defend. What kind of role would I choose? Man's probably going to have to be a box to box still because I look at the tackling and the passing. I'm like, yeah, listen, they're kind of, they're roughly the same. 13 and 14 are not too far apart. You get me? Uh, man, man's got the, the, the work rate and the determination to do it. So that's that's what I would do in it if, if I was going to play him. He is on loan from Leicester. So man genuinely has to play him anyway. So yeah, man, man like Matty James, bruv. Uh, next, you've got Gustavo Hammer, bruv. Now, this guy. Definitely looking to hammer your 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 shin pads, bruv. Can't lie, he's he's, he's coming for you, bruv. I can't lie, bruv. Like, listen, ball in the midfielder on support. Yeah, he's actually got an okay pivot for a ball in the midfielder because not a lot of them can pass. Some of them just say, you know what, fuck pass. And I'm just just really trying to get your shin pads still. But listen, man, the man's actually got mad aggression though. Like, like he 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 is fucking angry. I don't. I mean, he's smiling here, but fam, don't don't judge a book by its cover, bruv. That's what they always tell you. Like, like, man, that's that's not a lie, bruv. Listen, man's man's fucking angry, bruv. Listen, work rate fourteen, and 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 he's actually moving in the midfield as well. Overall, yeah, he's actually not that bad. Can't lie. Long shots fifteen, so so man can bang it from far as well. I can't lie. He's actually decent. Like man, like Gustavo Hammer. As much as he's coming to hammer your shin pads in. He's he's also got a bit of you know a, li a little bit of sauce there. I can't lie, bro. So it's it's a good player still. Man, man like Hammer, bro. Cool. All right, next we've got Jamie Allen. Now he is a box to box midfielder, eleven tackling, thirteen passing. Uh, not gonna lie, it's, it's it is under average, bro. He's not really the best defensive. I'll probably put him on advanced playmaker. It sounds mad, but he's a, a lot better going forward than it is at tackling, bro. So I'll put him advanced playmaker still. Now one thing that caught my attention is that the fact that it's this. I mean. English, like man, man's transfer listed in it. Like, um, is is it is that, that? Oh my god, I can't even speak right now. Listen, does that even make sense, bro? Because he's actually like he he can do a lot of things, bro. He can still. Um, there's a lot of twelves and elevens everywhere, but at least they're not sixes and fives, bro. So overall, man, I'll probably keep him. Can't lie, bro. Um, just on that fact alone that he can do a lot of things. Yeah, fuck it, man. man like, um, Jamie Allen, man's in the team still, say. All right, next you've got Jordan Shipley, bro. Man is a left mid, but naturally a centre mid now. Um. My, should I keep him out wide? It's because of the crossing. He's, he's probably better at crossing, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably train him to be a left wing. I mean, no, left left wing, back, left back. Is that good enough? You know what? You know what? You know what? Left mid is probably actually the right role for him still. A little straight line thing because he's not that fast, yeah? Pivot's not the great. I mean, he's got very good technical ability. He can bang it from far and he can cross. That's why he's on support on the left, bruv, because man will just 
do his thing from far, innit? Like, man will whip it early, bang it from far. Like, he's, 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 I'm, I was going to say he's actually a good player, but then I looked at his mentals, I was like, nah, he's, he's only good for that and that only, bruv. So, yeah, man, like Jordan Shipley, man, I'll just tell him, stay on the left. I don't know how he's 22, but never mind, man's fucking, hey, fucking hell, bruv. Listen, man, man, just keep him on the left hand side and just ask him to whip the ball in it. Yeah, fuck, fuck it, bruv. Uh, next, you've got Wesley Jobello, bruv. My, goodness me um he's gone for what seven weeks to three months and and i can't lie it's with good reason <laughs> i mean not not with good reason it's, it's 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 for the better man i can't lie don't play this guy um if you play him you're wasting your time he can't really offer you anything apart from an okay cross and and that's that's about it bruv it's, it's not worth your time i mean he's fast but yeah he's he's he's, he's bad man like really bad for some reason because this is going to get me mad if i re keep on reading but i'll just i'll read one more thing yeah man man dwells on the ball <laughs> Why the fuck is this guy dwelling on the ball, bruv? To do what? To, to converse with the linesman? What, who are you talking to, bruv? Why are you dwelling on the ball? To do what, bruv? Man, 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 listen, the man that dwell on the ball will need, have, will need to have good composure, a good pivot at least. When I look at your pivot, yeah, man, man, man sees greys and you're 26, bruv. What? <laughs> man, 26, bruv. Nah, I, might, nah, I had to rub my eyes because I couldn't believe man's actually 26 and you're I'm better than him. Fuck it. I'm better than him, bruv. What the fuck, bruv? Why am I not out here, bruv? In fucking coverage. Yeah, you might not take it a piss. Fuck this, bruv. All right. See, I know I said that guy from loan. I think his name's Ben Sheaf. I said that guy from loan. That guy from Arsenal on loan will probably be their best player. Now, out of everyone that I've got, I've done, yeah, I think this guy's the only one that can even come close to him. And and he's he's actually decent as well. Man came from the Aston Villa ranks, bruv. I think he's still... Actually, never mind. But yeah, listen... Man's, man's meant to be cutting inside or something, yeah? Because personally, I can't play him cam because of the decisions. But if he is cutting inside, one of them slow wingers, yeah, look at the pivot, 15, technique, 12, and 14 passing. So he's got a good pivot. First touch is good. And and dribbling like, and flair, he's very good at picking up the ball and driving still. It's just after that, in terms of making the right decision, that's the only time I have to question things. But apart from that, yeah, he's actually a decent player. Like I said before, he's the only one, yeah, that can come close to Ben Sheaf in terms of, like, being their best player like them two are definitely their best still and they're both 22 so everyone older ha hang up the boots bruv because when when men are 22 showing you how to kick ball then then you know your time's done bruv like you think i wouldn't hang up my boots if man sees man like callum O'Hare and ben sheave schooling me you think i'm not gonna fucking retire bruv like i'm retiring fuck that bruv like it's embarrassing man 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 i really just come out the womb in this football thing bossing shit like nah it's, it's embarrassing still but yeah man like Callum O'Hare yeah he's, he's actually decent still alright next we've got Victor Gokeres bruv now I've seen a lot of target men trying to be pressing forwards or vice versa and I don't know what they're doing bruv like what is this guy I mean I can't even call him a target man I see nine heading bruv what the fuck I mean yeah I think it's because I saw the height and then I saw the, the strength yeah I was like yeah he's probably a target man but nah he's not still as a pressing forward, he he's actually a pressing fucker. <laughs> Fuck, you know, he actually is a pressing forward as well. Because I see the work rate, the determination and the aggression, all 16, yeah? And then I see he can actually dribble and he's got an okay finish. So he's actually, a, he, he genuinely is a pressing forward still. The only thing that can like make me question that is the pivot. But apart from that, he's 22, he's not even yours. But from what I've seen, he's probably providing you value. So might have to keep him if you can. If you can't keep him, just, just use him for the one season that you have and make sure that you don't injure him because he's not fucking yours bruv see all right next you've got matt godin bruv you get me um he's a poacher 12 technique 9 vision 11 passing off the ball 13 finishing 14 what's the heading 11 one of them poachers that are meant to only get you goals but I, I don't really i can't really trust this guy man i mean he's good at finishing and and that's about it but that's to say that that's all that you need them for i, I, I keep on forgetting the roles for some reason listen man's a poacher all he needs to do is score goals, so he needs off the ball and finish it. Really, that's fourteen and thirteen. That's that's actually okay still. So four four little poacher man can do a little thing there with Matt Gordon still. Cool. All right, next you've got Amadou Bakayoko. Oh, fuck you know. <laughs> oh man, what the fuck is that, bruv? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Man's twenty four, and he's taking a piss like this, bro. What the fuck? Nah, 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 nah. Man like Amadou Bakayoko is taking the piss bruv man's transfer listed and and with good reason like i can completely understand it bruv um what's the wages 2.5k a week listen if that listen if that doesn't cost more than what 100k to terminate now do it bruv like if if it doesn't then then do that still because he can't provide you anything apart from 
shoulder barges, bruv, and this is not rugby. It is football, so that's not going to be effective still because man's got, what, nine technical ability? How can I respect you as a footballer, bruv? Yeah, can't lie, Amadou, this, this sport's not for you still. Man, man, have to switch over to little, what, NFL rugby thing where man can really shoulder barge, man, with, with, the, with the pace and, and the strength, bruv. But then again, you really got pay. You got the strength, though. Got the strength, though. Yeah, man, I'm back here, of course. Yeah. All right, next you've got Tyler Walker. Advanced forward, can't dribble, can't really pass. He's 23, just about to escape the youth academy in terms of bracket. Yep, age bracket. Um, Places, shots, 13, finishing 12, composure. Can I trust him? Can I trust this guy to get me goals, brev? Um, I, I don't even know if I can, you know. I I don't know, man. Because um, an advanced forward is meant to be like a, a goal scorer and a creator at the same time. This guy, can, can he do either? I mean, he can shoot and that's 13. Yeah, man, man, squad player still. Can't lie, man, I'll keep him on the bench. Man, man like Tyler, Tyler Walker, I'll keep him on the bench still. Cool. And lastly, we've got Maxime Biamu, bruv, you get me? Man is literally that, um, what's not, I have to find this guy's name, just for clarification. His name is Amadou Bakayoko. These men are literally the same. They're literally the same, bruv. Like, Maxime Biamu is literally his brother from another mother. Literally, bruv. So, um, obviously not a footballer. 11 technical ability is better still shit though so can't really respect it can't I yeah he is 29 this time so it's it's really curtains this time I mean he's strong and that is it bruv <laughs> like fucking hell man man needs to get into what WWE UFC fucking rugby one of them ones because it's football not for not for you still can't lie man let's, let's be real man like Maxim Biamu not levels still so yeah that is Coventry bruv I think they've got two good players one's on loan the other one is theirs, but they're both 22. And, and um, I think, yeah, the, the one that is 22, he's probably going to leave anyway. Like, I mean, the one that's theirs, that's 22, is going to leave. So these men are currently fucked, bruv. If you if you do want to manage them, good luck to you, man. Good luck to you because you, you've got you've got a lot. I mean, you, you've got a very long way to go still. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm not lining them up because there's nothing to line up apart from two 22-year-old men. I ain't got time for that still. So yeah, you, man, if you like that video, like that video. Shout out, Persuade us one more time. And um, I forgot how I do the intro. Wait, hold on. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the content. You know, I mean, it's the outro in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the content. You know what to expect from me. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bro.